Excellency, Doctor Bowley, and Vice President, any way, Doctor Muhammad Bowley, Mrs. S. Samura Bowley, and second lady of the land. And when he said, and next year, next year, by the grace of God, Muhammad Ubaumia wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024. We will have a Zongo First Lady in Ghana. Uh, uh, so, there's a lot of opportunity for. By the grace of God, Muhammad Ubaumia wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024. We will have a Zongo First Lady in Ghana. Uh, uh, so, there's a lot of opportunity for. The Council is here to reaffirm the friendship and cooperation that there are between our two countries in so many areas of Ghanaian national life. We have appreciated the cooperation of Germany, especially in areas of energy efficiency, the development of renewables, and the development of our transmission infrastructure. These are areas where we've been benefited greatly from German technology and assistance. As again, under the G20 comp compact with Africa, has been also a very beneficial and val valuable source of cooperation between our two countries. And indeed, I intend to be in Berlin in the latter part of this of of, of November for the uh, the conference that Chancellor Scholz is uh, organising over the. Uh, the, the compact with Africa. We had an opportunity in our meeting to discuss, apart from economic matters in Ghana, to discuss issues of migration, to discuss problems to do with the instability in parts of West Africa and the Sahelian region, the, the coup d'etats that have engulfed at least four of the states of West Africa, and shared very common views as to how we're looking at the future and how we can work together to restore democracy to these countries and strengthen democratic development. <laughs> Zongo first lady say po yem po next year and no ene ya di ayi bunya how will it is that what you are saying so I can say by the grace of God, Muhammad Ubaumia wins the presidency in the seventh of December, twenty twenty four. We will have a Zongo first lady in Ghana. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of opportunity for by the grace of God. Muhammad Ubaumia wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024. We will have a Zongo First Lady in Ghana. Uh, uh, so there's a lot of opportunities blocking any initiatives that the Security Council can take over the, the conflict. So clearly there is a need for all of us to rethink how the future will be as Ghana continues to be strong in a denunciation of Russia's aggression over Ukraine. But at the same time, um, we believe that greater and greater efforts should be made to see the possibility of a resolution of the conflict. Uh, it's, it, it has important international implications for us, and we need to be able to make sure that uh, as quickly as possible, we come to peace. In the same way, we have been, we were very clear and vocal in our condemnation of the attack on Israel on the 7th of October by the Hamas organization. 
and uh, recognize fully Israel's right to protect itself and defend itself. But at the same time, you look at the humanitarian consequences of what is going on over there. There's clearly a need for us, all of us, the international community, the global community, to, long, to look beyond the immediate issues of the, of, 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 of the of consequences of the Hamas uh, attacks on Israel, to be looking at the possibility of a comprehensive settlement of this matter. It's not possible. The Council is here to reaffirm the friendship and cooperation that there are between our two countries. In so many areas of Ghanaian national life, we have appreciated the cooperation of Germany, especially in the areas of energy efficiency, the development of renewables, and the development of our transmission infrastructure. These are areas where we've been benefited greatly from German technology and assistance. As again, under the G20 comp compact with Africa, has been also a very beneficial and val valuable source of cooperation between our two countries. And indeed, I intend to be in Berlin in the latter part of this of of, of November for the uh, the conference that Chancellor Scholz is uh, organizing over the. Uh, the, the compact with Africa. We had an opportunity in our meeting to discuss, apart from economic matters in Ghana, to discuss issues of migration, to discuss problems to do with the instability in parts of West Africa and the Sahelian region, the, the coup d'etats that have engulfed at least four of the states of West Africa, and shared very common views as to how we're looking at the future and how we can work together to restore democracy to these countries and strengthen democratic development in West Africa as a whole. We're looking forward to working together uh, to promote uh, the reform of the United Nations, especially of its Security Council, I think we have all seen in recent times that um, the Council, in many ways, is not fit for purpose in dealing with questions to do with international peace and security. The classic example is what is happening uh, over the Ukraine conflict, where the, the nation that is the aggressor is also the veto-wielding country, and which is blocking any initiatives that...